Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Erin, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everyone, welcome to episode 30. Yep, we did it. I know. For 30 weeks. I know, nonstop. I think we've done one every week for the past 30 weeks. I think so. There have been plenty of times where it's like, oh, let's just post that we're not going to do it this week, but then we do it. Yep. And yep. we get it out there. So it's a little bit earlier in the night that we normally record this. Yep. So we have uh, chick number one is out on a little mini vacation with the grandparents. Yep. And chick number two is over here playing yep. on her iPad. And when she's alone, she does not go to bed. No. Yeah. And so it didn't matter if we did this now or <laughs> later. So Exactly. So we'll do it when she's less cranky. Yeah. Yes. So if you hear like little beeps and boops in the background, that's her playing around or yep. I don't know. She, she said she wasn't going to talk, so. Yep. She's probably not going to talk. So she'll sit over there playing her iPad, chill out, and we'll talk about what the heck we've been doing. Yep. Because man, we've been busy. Yeah. Um, well, I harvested the first of the. Elderberry. Elderberries. Yep. Um. Um. So I harvested the first of the elderberries. Yep. Uh, took the girls down there one night and and checked on them because I had put the bags on them earlier, mm-hmm. and then I then I did last year because I think I just found them last year and it yeah. was like shoot I want to you know harvest these and so I put little mesh bags over some of the clumps of berries. Right. Right. Um, to save from the birds. I mean, obviously there was plenty left. For oh the yeah, there's still plenty left yeah. back there. Yeah. And I think we actually got the bags on a little bit too early. That's what I mean. Is this so. year it was like, oh, I want to be ready to do that, and I think I did it too early, so some of them didn't uh, pollinate. pollinate. Yep. So I learned. So now mm-hmm. next year I know I can wait a little bit, but, yep. um, but yeah. So we went down and found a couple bushes, um, really ready. Yep. So I cut those, found a lot that I hadn't even put bags on that were like ginormous. Mm-hmm. So I got those um, all brought back. And there's quite a bit more out there that's still green. So we'll have to go right. out there in a couple weeks. and. Yeah, and there's, I'd say there's what, seven or eight plants back there. And they're, they're, and they're huge. They, they got to be 10 feet wide. Yeah, they are huge. They're even bigger than last year that I, I remember. It's all, but it's last all. year I just found that one section and and focused on that but since i've like this year it's like there's another one there's another one there's another one like there's a lot down there oh yeah yep yeah so that's it's really cool so i have that uh you got what one huge gallon bag yeah so on this first shot yeah and that's not even like half of what yeah will be ready when it's ready yeah which is kind of nice because it can get a little overwhelming yeah well you're talking about freeze drying that stuff this year too yeah i've got a couple things usually i just take the berries and freeze them Mm -hmm. and then take them out as i want to make a batch of the series the syrup which i forgot to talk about in the side hustle episode right that i make elderberry syrup um and it was a huge hit last year. I couldn't believe it. I thought there was enough people out here that made it that it'd be like, nah, we don't need another new person. But it went really well. Yeah. There were, um, almost there... to the point where it was like, okay, I think I'm done. Yeah. I, I You did at least 10 batches, I would say. Yeah. So, um, Which is a lot for someone that wasn't expecting anything. Yeah. So. I mean, we were scrambling around trying to get stuff done and throwing that stuff in and, and trying am, to sell stuff. And, and I am not organized. So I think the hardest part was keeping track of this person's coming Tuesday. They want two 16 ounce. This person wants an eight ounce. And it was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone will get it, but. It just takes um, time getting it done. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What was I even talking about? So, oh, uh, so yeah. So I froze just the berries last year mm-hmm. in the freezer and I would just take it out with my little measuring cup and make a batch. But there's, I we've got options this time of either freeze drying the berries mm-hmm. or making the syrup and freeze drying the syrup and then adding it, you know, adding water back to it when someone wants one and it's like, well, here you go. Right. I'll be really interested to see how that turns out. Yeah, I don't know. So um, it may we'll just look, be we might have to look trial. That up. Yeah, so. I mean, in some of the freeze drying groups, I mean, elderberries are like they're in season now everywhere. Yeah. 
So there's been a lot of posts about it. So it might just have to be a try and trial. See. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we use it. Mm-hmm. So the neighbor uses it. Like yeah. he, he's already asking you for a couple of bottles. Yeah. So, and it's. I mean, it's still not ready yet. Yeah. I mean, I could make some, mm-hmm. but yeah. I mean, it's still early. Yeah, she gotta get some honey. I do. Yeah, I have the honey. Okay. Yeah, I've already had one person order that I had ordered from last year saying they cool. want to get a head start. You know, school was starting soon. Took a couple bottles just to you know, awesome. prevent. So Yeah, that works. That's definitely a good thing. And then uh, we had a little project we were doing. We did the rabbit's feet. Yes, the rabbit feet keychains. Yes. So they are officially done and available. Yep. Um, yeah, it was... It was a, it was interesting. A, a lot of work. I mean, and a lot, and, but not really. Yeah. A lot of steps. Yes. It wasn't a lot of work. It was a, a little while. Mm-hmm. Like it's at least a week. Right. Starting from processing to curing everything and drying. Right. Um, we followed. Um, the last projects, their yes. video. <sighs> Um, we followed Corey's video from the Lots Project on her YouTube video, yeah. and it's up there. You know, if anybody wants to look it up, we can link it. Um, yeah, that was a great video. It for was us. super simple. I mean, sometimes Hi. I. Yes. Um, I want the thing back. Okay. Start over. Um, so we followed Corey's video from the Lots Project on YouTube, which right. we'll link it in the show notes. Um, I also posted it already on Facebook, um, but it was super simple, mm-hmm. very to the point. Like even I could follow it. Like sometimes I watch something and it's like that'd be so cool, but I cannot even right. begin with that right now. So watching this was really cool, and um, I want to thank me. you want to say hi. Did you have fun making the rabbit feet? Hi! Did you make some rabbit feet? Yeah. What was your favorite part of making the rabbit feet? Um, getting the balls out. Getting the balls? Yes, so the balls out of the jingle bells. Yes. That we used for the caps. Yeah, we had to take, we had to open them up and take all the balls out. Yep. Um, and, and most of them would um, have one ball in it. Right, but there yep. was one that had two in it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had to cure the yep. rabbit feet. Alcohol and the borax. And yep. So- and bye! I'll see you tomorrow! <laughs> I'll see you on podcast night! Bye! And so having the um, the quart jars just filled with rabbit feet on the counter, the first night was like, this is weird. Like, how did we get... To the, oh, this yeah. is okay. Like this is just no well, big deal. I, I don't think it hit you until you hung them outside. Yes, and it was okay. And it was like I'm looking around, like, is anybody watching me? Like, <laughs> like there's probably nobody else around mm-hmm. that is doing this right now. And you know what? That's fine. Right. It doesn't even matter. Right. Yeah, we did the front feet, we did the back feet, and when we hung them outside, we had them on like a 10-foot stick of conduit that I stuck in the side of the rabbit cages that we have outside yeah. that have been there for a couple of months now. Yeah, well, we're going to plan. But that's our uh, the cage expansion that we're doing. Yeah. I just used one of the holes in there, stuck this piece of conduit right through the holes. Yeah, because, I mean, Corey has a good point in the video that... She wanted them outside to dry, but wanted to be able to bring them inside right. somewhere so that animals weren't going after it. And it's like, it's probably not a bad idea. I don't want to attract anything else. Yep. Um, so, yeah, you just took that conduit and hung it in the shed. In the yeah. shed. Right where we're going to hang the rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It was very weird, and then it was almost weirder that it was, like, no big deal. Like, yeah, you know, we've progressed slowly to this point, but it was like, whoa, I've got jars of 
rabbit, rabbit feet. feet in my kitchen right yep. now, yep. and it's not bothering anybody. Right, and dinner was sloppy happy tonight. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. <laughs> so if you follow the Facebook page, you'll figure out yes. when we're recording this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that night we had a sloppy hoppy and talked about rabbit feet. Exactly. Because that's how we do things. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we have come a long ways from just dabbling with stuff yeah. to... And it has been slow. Like, it hasn't yeah. been like, whoa, we need to slow down. We're doing too much. Like, mm-hmm. everything we've done has, like, slowly just morphed into the next thing but it sometimes it's like okay yeah <laughs> this is all right yeah this is no big deal yeah i mean it's there are days where it's like i can't believe we're here and there are days where it's like i want to do yeah more, how are we, we not can't. there yet yeah. yeah yeah it's 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 a crazy mental roller coaster absolutely but it's been fun yeah but anyway so the rabbit feet are done yep we all uh we all did something, so that was really cool. Mm-hmm. That it was like everybody did something with it, and I've already posted this on Facebook too. So if you follow the page, then you've kind of heard me say this already. But it was really neat having the oldest one this year be outside, seeing everything, Start to finish, and we didn't. We never told them. No. Okay, this is what we're doing now, and you have to deal with right. it. Right. It was, this is what we're doing now, and you are free to stay inside Mm -hmm. or come out or do anything. And she naturally progressed to, this is okay. I have questions and I want to come see. Yeah. And that, you know, that, you know, they can see the the kits, the rabbit kits out there one day, Mm -hmm. process them the next day. Have rabbit feet in the kitchen, hanging, tying mm-hmm. knots, you know, yeah. learning how to do a slip knot. Mm-hmm. And then... Learning how to glue chains. things and on wanting, the feet. And yeah. And saying, this was my rabbit, and this is the one I want hanging on my backpack. Like... Yeah. It's just... It's amazing and crazy and... Yeah. It is super crazy. I mean, it's... It's blown my mind how far both of them have come. Yeah. And that, you know, everybody worries about, well... You know, kids that are in this kind of environment, you know, is it healthy? How do I get them to accept it? And it's like, you tell them Mm -hmm. what you're doing and you're honest with them. Yeah. And you go through the emotions and you just kind of go along and they'll, they'll do it or they won't. I mean. Right. Right. It's, they'll figure it out. They'll help you out or they're just going to hang out inside and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Either way is perfectly fine. Yeah. So, I yeah, because I wouldn't ever want them to do something that they felt forced right, to do. Right. And I noticed the shift when we processed the hog. Mm-hmm. Like, it, that was a honest sit back and ask questions when we processed the third hog that we did. Yeah. Or at least started to. Because mm-hmm. then she was, because then she saw it. That start to finish. Because she was in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. And she wanted to see everything. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's been, it's been really neat. And there may be people out there that don't agree with what we're doing. And you know what? That's fine, too. I don't care. And, yeah, Yeah. I mean. You do you, I do me. Exactly. So, it is what it is. Yep. But, yeah, so we do have the rabbit feet available. We did the back feet um, and the front feet. Mm -hmm. Um, I know Corey had mentioned that the front feet were really good for cat toys. And so we had our cat try it. Okay. Hello. (laughs) Yay! <laughs> that was live folks um she mentioned that you know the front feet were good for cat treats or toys and yeah. so we had our try our cat try it and for like half a second yeah, i mean he was yeah. goofing around with one of them was where and then uh and then all of a sudden we got keychain happy and we made them all into keychains because we were on a roll yeah so we have front feet and back feet um so one is like half the size, pretty much, yep. of the other. So they're they're for sale. Yep. Um, Email us info at twochickshomestead.com, or catch us on uh, social media, and we'll get you get yeah. guys situated. Yeah. Eight dollars so. for back ones and six dollars yep. for front ones. Yep. And we'll hash out some shipping. I still got to figure that out. Yeah. So can't yeah. be more than a couple of bucks. Yeah. You know, if, if if it goes flat rate, you order a couple of them. They can go on a small flat rate, and that's what nine seventy five, I think, right now. Yeah, and you may even get a patch. Yeah, there may be a patch in there. Yeah. 
Probably. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm still kind of working on uh, doing Amazon, the item of the week. Yeah. Usually on Fridays, but it was posted on Monday. Um, well, that's because you got something that actually helps you day to day. Well, yeah. And I, yeah, sometimes it's <laughs> you like. You needed it today. Yeah, sometimes I see the reminder and it's like, ah, oh, get to it. And then it's like three days later and it's like, well, mm. it's not that serious. But yeah, thank you, anybody who's clicking on the link. And even yeah. if you're not buying what I posted, anything you buy through that link does send us a few cents and takes yep. it away from Amazon, Amazon and, and gives it to someone that, you know, goes and buys stuff for the yeah. house or helps the kids or gets yeah it's some just kind of neat you know to see that equipment. and the same with fountain fountain yeah. fm the yep. podcast player the value for value absolutely which i mean thank you to everybody who has boosted, boosted. us yeah, and been, I, and clipped and shared yep. and it's it's not about the money no it's about someone thinking that it was helpful or interesting enough that they uh they wanted to show us right absolutely so. and it it helps out a little bit i mean 100 sats is what about it? three cents i think yeah yeah so, so i mean we're not getting rich off this right right and that's not the point it's yeah it's just the idea of it mm-hmm. so all right should we move on to the medical stuff yep so, so you, do you want to start with, like, the beginning of how we even sure. met EMT Don? Yeah, we can start with that. So EMT Don, we uh, interviewed him a couple episodes back. Uh, both him and Katie showed up at our di- house one night for dinner, and uh, we sat down and we talked some medical stuff. Um, just, you know, got some plans going. And this was the second half of it where we traded some items or we, well yeah we traded some items why don't you start with how you met Don so yeah I, I met Don down at SRF the first one the first one Self Reliance Festival down at um, LFTN no SOE SOE thank you <laughs> SOE um, he and I worked the front gate together hung out for a couple hours got to know each other and realized that we're like an hour away mm-hmm. so and that's the cool thing about going to these workshops is sometimes people think, well, why would you go all the way down there and hang out with people that are from there? Right. And you don't always. They're from everywhere. Right. I and mean, you meet someone who is, a, you know, an amazing person and resource mm-hmm. right in your backyard. Yeah, I mean, SOE is, what, 450, 500 miles away? Yeah. And he lives, like, 40 minutes away. Yeah. So, you know, we, it's funny how that worked out. Mm-hmm. And, it was a good fit. Um, I've been, and then we were going down to uh, LFTN, the spring workshop, and I made the comment. I'm like, "Yeah, I wonder if that guy from Illinois is going to yeah. be down there." I don't remember his name, but he was like, you know, an hour away from us, and I wonder if he's going to show up. And we pull up, and we're like, "Hey, he's right there." <laughs> so. Um, we worked out some stuff and uh, traded a couple of items and uh, got a class out of it. Yeah. So he, he decided to swing by and help us out with hosting like a medical, like an emergency, emergency medical yeah. um, procedures. procedures class. And it was chock full of knowledge, like honest to goodness, sat down answered everybody's question made you think about what you're doing Mm -hmm. Um, a couple of us had tourniquets put on us I had a uh, cat 7 put on me and then uh, Mike one of my other buddies Mm -hmm. had a uh, rats tourniquet put on him and then we went over Israeli bandages and SWAT tees uh, what you should have in your bag um, you know, like difference between a boo boo bag and a bleed out. And yeah. Then, you know what? What to treat a turn? You know, tr- what type of bleeding to treat? You know, if it's a you know capillary or if it's arterial. You know, what, what steps do you take mm-hmm. for that stuff? Um, you know, 
gunshot wounds, penetration, stuff like that. And it was kind of nice because it wasn't all, well, you need to get the most expensive thing. Right. It's all like Walmart, Amazon. Yeah. yeah. You know, what you what you can get there is better than nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and then you can afford to put it in the SOE bag that you know you're gonna buy and yeah, exactly. keep everything in it. Exactly. Um. So we do have an SOE medical <laughs> backpack. We are going to fill up because I think we pretty much ordered a re put everything in the Amazon. Yeah, cart. everything's in the Amazon cart. So so that will be uh, this so go week's... ahead and buy things from our Amazon link so we can go buy some medical buy some medical stuff. <laughs> um, no. Well, we, we we already have a. Ton of tourniquets yes, here. Yes, yes. We don't need the tourniquets and stuff. Yeah, it's just little stuff. We bought all of our Cat Seven tourniquets from Drum Emergency Solutions. Yep. And we'll drop his link in the uh, show notes. Yeah. But that's uh, Jake Drum. He was down at Self Reliance Festival as well. Yeah. And then you got a suture kit from him while you were I down did. there. I did. I have not used it yet, but it is here. Yeah. So we got to play with that. Yeah. It might need to be a homeschool. Yeah. Thing. Yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, the class was, I, I didn't quite know what to expect and he kept asking, well, what do you guys want? And it's like, well, we don't know, right. you know, like we don't know what we don't know. Right. It's, Absolutely. And you know, I, n- neither of us are used to this stuff. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those things where it's like being prepared, you know, this is a huge thing. Mm hmm. But it is a little overwhelming. Like, you don't know oh, yeah. where to begin, who to ask, who to even trust when you ask, because you're going to get a million answers. Right. And right. so it's it's a little much, you know, to even start. Um, but this, I mean, it was amazing. I invited my parents out mm-hmm. who, I mean, we were even talking that a year ago probably would not have come. No. So I'm, I'm really glad they came. I was a little nervous. Because I don't think they knew what to expect, mm-hmm. and I think they got a lot out of it. Right. And absolutely. my dad even got you know a blood test. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He took he a little, was, little pinprick of blood. He was uh, the uh, the mock patient. Yes. And he did really good. Good yep. job, Dad. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was a good sport. Yeah. I mean, doing we, it all. Mike and I definitely went through the real pain because yeah. those tourniquets hurt. Yeah. So I don't remember the first tourniquet you put on me down at LFTN hurt as you much. Had a, you had a lot more people around you watching. Yeah. So maybe it was your adrenaline was going yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Very well could be. Or this was you kind of knew what to expect. But it didn't I hurt as much the well, first time. I don't know. Maybe you didn't crank it down as hard as I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But I know there was no pulse the yeah. first time. Yeah. So, but I got a nice little bruise on my arm from... Uh, that one. Yeah. So that was uh, kind of fun. I'll have to check with Mike and see how his yeah. face is holding up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got a long list of things to add to our kits, books to read. Mm-hmm. We got a nice little certificate. Yeah. You know, showing that we took his class. And yeah. And it was just um, <laughs> the kids were here. Yes. So while they didn't sit, I mean, it was. Four hours? Yeah, at least. So while they didn't, like, sit here the whole time, I mean, the oldest one had questions that, you know, were pretty good. And, Mm -hmm. you know, we told them that they would be able to ask them, you know, when it fit, you know, when we could, you know, interrupt and stuff. So Right. They did pretty good. They did did really good, yeah. And and, and the little one, the five-year-old, didn't talk. Yeah, and she said the five-year-old didn't talk. Right. Which is fine. So they're too busy downstairs in the basement yes. playing with balloons. Yes. So. Like, and not getting hurt. Right. And not getting hurt. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if you want, are you in the area and right. you're looking for a class, I would totally recommend. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that he does. And we would like to do the Stop the Bleed one at some point. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, we're going to have to talk about that. And it's going to have to either be a fall or uh spring yeah you know a nice day and because i mean that's going to be long several hours yeah of like actual everybody's t- putting hands on tourniquets and yeah. learning how to pack you know wounds and stuff like that yeah and i think yeah it's a good idea yeah to have. so that'll be a uh, probably not with the kids probably not and then, just so that we can pay attention right right 
So, so what else we got? I think the only thing we have is the giveaway that's still going on. Yes. So if you want to, if you have forgot, shoot us an email at info at twochickshomestead.com. And we want to hear about your pending side hustle, your current side hustle, or previous side hustles. Mm -hmm. And we'll let this roll on for uh, another week or two maybe. Yeah. And uh, we got some goodies to give away from SOE and LFTN and maybe some candy and a patch. Yep, we've gotten a couple emails already, so we appreciate that. So Yeah. Jump in. Yeah. It's uh, quite a bit of stuff to win. Yeah. So we'll get that out as soon as we can. I think that's pretty much about it for this week, right? Yep, that's pretty much it. All right, we'll see you guys next time. All right, see you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking.